Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who will well teach well, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the Spirit. Empower Yahweh Bahashem Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And Shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Y Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And I'm going to get a quick hit in because we got camping a little bit. And uh, this lesson is going to be titled as Faith, Sustain, and this truth of faith. We need faith. All right, that's what's keeping us sustained and consistently moving is we have to, cons to pray that the Lord keeps the spirit of faith on us and that we sustain in the truth. And the only way you're going to be able to sustain in this ministry and this truth is with faith. So I'm going to read some precepts on this. Another quick here to get something in. A little willing this lesson is edifying, man. Because that's what is going to keep us in this truth. That's what keeps us pushing on a daily basis. No matter how much afflictions and torments, you know, and, and attacks that we deal with in our daily lives. In this hellhole of this kingdom of the rulership of Esau, Edom. We have faith to get us by. We have faith. To get us through. So Lord willing this lesson is edifying. The first precept I'm going to get out is. Uh, Matthew 21. And. Uh, verse 21. And it says. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them. Yeah Yahweh Shai. This is what he spoke on to the disciples. The apostles. Because you had some of them. You know, a couple of them that had doubts. You know, they they didn't have faith. You know, you had like you had uh, apost you had apostles or or men like um, uh, Peter, Apostle Peter. He lived in doubt. You know, he had doubt a lot. You know, it's like when the Lord told him to go out and feed his sheep, he was in doubt. You know, Peter was always in doubt. You know, but this is what the Lord said unto them, and this refers to us as well in this truth. Matthew twenty one twenty one. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Verily, means truly, I say unto you, If ye have faith, doubt not. So you don't want to live in doubts in this truth. You don't want to have doubts in this ministry. All right. You're going to go through a lot of obstacles. You're going to be put to a low state. The Lord is going to put you at the lowest state possible. But the Lord is always going to make way for you to be able to escape it. You know, so you don't want to live in doubt. No matter how uh, 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 bad off you are, or how bad of a situation you're in, or right, you never want to have the spirit of doubt. And I'm speaking for myself first and foremost. You never want to have the spirit of doubt, you know, because that shows you who you are as a man of the Lord. You know, that is what we have to keep us going is faith. Always want to have faith. Never lose the faith, brothers. And I'm speaking for myself first and foremost. So that's what the Lord was saying pretty much. On to uh, this is what the Lord was saying pretty much on to uh, the, the apostles. I got a brother calling me, I'm gonna call him back in a minute. It says, Verily I say unto you, if ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye, if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. All right, so the Lord was telling them, Have faith. All right, you see has what happened to this fig tree. So you would have faith. The scriptures even also mention if you have faith as small as a grain of a mustard seed. And if you look at a mustard seed, it's very, 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 very small. Anything can be, uh, anything is possible. So you want to have a faith. You you don't want to have doubts. You don't want to be a, a doubtful individual, you know. Now speaking for myself first and foremost, that's something that you always want to uh, pray that the Lord keeps upon you, the spirit to have upon you. In this truth. Verse 22. And all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer. See, and all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. And you have to believe. You have to be confident. You have to trust in Yahweh Bashim Shai. Knowing that he will do it. Not if he will do it. Knowing that he will do it. Know that he will provide for you, man. You know? You don't want to live in the spirit of doubt. You don't want to have the spirit of doubt. All right, you don't want to be doubtful in the truth because then when you start having doubts, you become double minded. You'll become double minded. You start wondering, start having thoughts like, is the Lord dealing with me? 
you know, you'll start bugging out. You don't want that, you know. So you don't you don't want to live in doubts, man. You always want to pray that the Lord keeps the spirit on you to keep you in, in, in enduring through these times because things are going to increase. Things are going to get worse by the minute. And you have to increase in the faith. And one way to do that is to consistently pray. You know, ask the Lord to consistently keep the spirit on you. That you don't lose the faith. Because, you know, the, the scriptures say, which I'm going to get right now. Which is, uh, I'm going to get it right now. So I like it. The, the scriptures say, when you read in Ephesians, right, Ephesians 2 and 8, it says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of Yahweh. Right, see, faith is a spiritual gift given by Yahweh. Not every single Hebrew Israelite has faith. Faith is, 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 is given to his men, and it's a spiritual gift given by the Heavenly Father. Faith is a spiritual gift given by the Heavenly Father. And only a certain group of men have that, that gift. So you don't want you don't want the Lord to take that from you. You don't want to lose that. You want to have the faith. You want to consistently pray that the Lord keeps you in this thing. Because you don't want to have doubt. You know, you don't want to be a doubtful individual. And I'm speaking for myself first and foremost. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of Yahweh. So faith is a spiritual gift given by Yahweh. Not every single Israelite has a spiritual gift of faith. Faith is only given to a particular group of men. Alright, because you got a lot of these jakes, they just law crazy. They don't even believe in having faith. They just believe in just laws only. And that's, that's not how you are to be in the truth. Yes, we are to keep the laws, but that's not what's going to save you. Faith is what's going to save you, not just the laws. You got a lot of jakes that believe that the laws are going to save them, which that's incorrect. Faith is what's going to save you. You need faith. I'm speaking for myself first and foremost. We all have to have faith in this truth. Because mm -hmm. other than that, you're not going to be able to sustain. It's Hebrews 11. It's Hebrews 11 and a, and a 1. It says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Come on, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence, the evidence of things not seen. So we we have faith. What are the things that we open for? That we remain diligent in this truth. That we don't lose the faith. That we don't fall out. That we don't become bug outs, reprobates. You know, that the Lord keeps us in the right mind. That we stay learning and staying humble and staying diligent, right? Being consistent in the truth, you know, as best way as possible. You know, things happen, things get in the way. You know, the bills, the you know, the rent, all these things. You know, it gets in the way of us sometimes in the truth working. You know, but we still have to glorify the Lord. You still have to show your your yourself worthy in the eyes of the Lord. And one way to do that is with having the faith. And if you have faith, you're going to be able to teach. You're going to be able to go out to camp. You're going to be able to do videos. You're going to be diligent. You're going to be all these things because you're going to have the faith, man. You know. This is why we always pray to the Lord that he, you know, where we don't lose the faith. This is the things that we hope for. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. You know, we're hoping to be the elect. We're hoping to be delivered. We're hoping to see this place called America be destroyed, right? We were, we're hoping to, to be of that number, to receive, to receive that spiritual power, that, that deliverance, man, you know? It's Hebrews 11 and 6, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Come on, without faith, it's impossible to please you, because you have to have faith. That's how you're going to sustain. It says, for he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is and that he is a water of them that diligently seek him. So we need faith to sustain in this truth. Without faith, you're not going to be able to sustain. You're not going to make it, man. So we have to remain, you know, remain, um, you know, in faith, you know, praying, asking the Lord to keep the spirit on us, man. That we don't, we don't fall out. We don't lose the faith. The spirit is taken from us. We pray that we sustain with faith in this thing, you know, that we remain, mm -hmm. um, you know, in this truth, because this is all we have left. So, mm -hmm. hey, man, I just wanted to do a quick hit, Lord willing, this lesson's edifying. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Kodash. And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Next time I say Shalom.